On Saturday, Pope Francis accepted the resignation of the Archbishop of Santiago, Chile, after he was placed under criminal investigation for covering up sex abuse. In his last homily yesterday, Cardinal Ricardo Azadi apologized for his weakness. Con clara conciencia, también pido perdón por mis debilidades y mis flaquezas. The 77-year-old submitted his resignation to Pope Francis two years ago when he reached the mandatory retirement age of 75. Since last year, Azadi is the eighth church leader in Chile whose resignation has been accepted by the Holy Father. Alan Holdren is the EWTN Rome Bureau Chief. Alan, Cardinal Azadi became the flashpoint of abuse survivors' anger for mishandling several cases. Why is he being investigated? Well, Lauren, there are three different priests uh, that are being accused of abuses uh, under his watch there in the Arch Archdiocese of Santiago, Chile. Uh, prosecutors are uh, speaking now in particular about a uh, close deputy of his there in the Cathedral of Santiago that's being accused of, uh, of misconduct that happened within the cathedral. Uh, the victim says that the archbishop knew about it. Uh, he says that, uh, that he didn't. So he's really... Uh, under the spotlight, as you said, uh, but he is uh, fighting these claims still, even though uh, the Pope has accepted his resignation as of Saturday. Uh, he says that he leaves with his head held high, says that all of the cases that came up under his watch since 2011 have been investigated or are in the process of being investigated. Alan, why did Pope Francis accept his resignation but didn't accept one from Cardinal Barberin of France despite his conviction for covering up abuse? Well, in the case of Cardinal Barberan Lauren, uh, the process is ongoing. The Cardinal uh, is expected to make an appeal later on this year. Uh, in the case of, uh, of this Cardinal, Edzati, down in uh, Santiago, the prosecutors dismissed uh, his plea to, to n n not participate in the c continuation of the trial. And uh, he's also over the age of 75, which is the age of resignation for any bishops. All bishops of the world, when they reach that age, submit their resignation. In this case, he's 77 years old, and, uh, and I'm sure that also factored into it. So what happens now in Santiago? Does someone replace Cardinal Azadi? How long will that take? Yeah, he's already been replaced by what they call an apostolic administrator. This is a bishop of another diocese within Chile, the, the Diocese of Copiapo. He's uh, Bishop Celestino uh, uh, Braco, and he's a Spanish-born Capuchin friar. Uh, now, he comes into this situation um, knowing a little bit about how these processes work. He's worked in investigations into uh, priest misconduct in the past. Uh, he's actually being accused by uh, a, an alleged victim saying that he didn't do enough to move a case forward uh, quickly. This uh, alleged victim says that uh, the bishop stalled, uh, but he steps into the role saying uh, the church has its shortcomings and uh, there's a lot of light and darkness and he asked for prayers as he takes on this role. Well, another cardinal is leaving the Vatican. Thank you so much. Alan Holdren, EWTN Rome Bureau Chief. Thank you, Lauren.